I just want to show that using these two things is awesome because like I said I've broken a lot of things both nuts before so as I'm getting close you'll see that this is remember 80s the it starts beeping I'm at 72 77 there actually both at 80 and my torque wrench I know both of these things are correct so uh, just to let you know that that's a trick that I've used because sometimes I, I don't who knows what I do I either I said it right but I maybe I read it wrong but anyway having these two things set at the same time gives you that uh, that piece <laughs> that you that you want when you're tightening stuff up all right um, in this series I um, review tools uh, that I use um, I am a hobbyist when it comes to working on cars and working things around the house um, so, you know, this is for your entertainment and education uh, video uh, only and mostly entertainment and so uh, and my entertainment. So anyway, these are the inside these uh, two boxes is uh, one, maybe two of my favorite tools to use. OK, and this is a two part um, way of doing this in here is a torque wrench right and this is analog I guess if you will and then here what I have is a torque meter and this is digital okay um, and what I like to do is use both of these in combination and this is pretty inexpensive um, to do and the reason I like to use them in combination is because there's been a couple times when I over torque something because I didn't I had I met, read it wrong. I had newtons instead of foot pounds. Uh, you know, just all all kinds of different um, ways to screw it up uh, is what I ran into. So anyway, uh, again to set it, uh, this video is not really about setting it, but um, you know this is foot pounds here, right? So I would set this to uh, you know sixty foot pounds. Um, let's get it right. And it's a little bit hard to see. You might not see it on the camera, but I believe... Okay, here we go. 60 foot-pounds, right? And then tighten this up so it doesn't move. And then now we're ready to torque something down. But what I like doing is coming here to my digital one, turning that on, and then I believe I had it set to... So I take this down... you know, all the way down to, and uh, it's annoyingly slow. All right, take it down to 60, you know, it doesn't have to be too accurate. All right, 60 foot pounds. Now, I know both of these are set to 60, so I take that and get it in. And then I might take, let's take this 21 off, 21 millimeter, all right. And then snap that in. Now, when I'm torquing this down, you will see, and I'm just using my, um, you know, just my arms here. And you see that I only got two foot pounds, right? And if I do it a little harder, it got 3.3. So, as you're torquing it down, you're seeing how much torque you have. Because this one just will click uh, when you're at that torque. So here, when you're getting closer, you hear that beep. And then right at the same time that you hear the, the uh, there's a beep that tells you you're getting close and then there's a, a strong beep that tells you you're there, it clicks at the same time. So with those two, you know you've reached um, the correct uh, torque. So anyway, uh, I'll show you some video now of uh, me using this tool. Uh, and I always uh, torque down everything to specification. Uh, it's just... I am not, uh, I don't have the expertise to feel it and go, yeah, you know, that's good and tight. Uh, I won't sleep at night. <laughs> so I just get the right torque specification, set it, and then I torque everything down in my videos. That's what I do. So anyway, this is uh, my favorite combination of a tool. It does, this is a Quinn model at Pittsburgh, um, but there are all kinds of models that'll work. Um, and like I said, because you have two, it gets you... Uh, into that perfect uh, torque and that 
gives you that perfect, uh, um, what's the word? The perfect uh, ease of mind that uh, your your mind will rest easy that you know you did it right. So I hope this video helps. Uh, please like and subscribe. Every little bit helps. Have a great rest of your day and enjoy the video. There it is. Okay. Seventy five, right? Seventy five mm -hmm. foot pounds. There it is. All right. So somehow I had that wrong. All right. So both my digital. 47.1 and my torque wrench 50 went off so that's how I know it. they're both at uh, double check there so that's 50 foot pounds and that's it right. I just want to show that using these two things is awesome because like I said I've broken a lot of things both nuts before so as I'm getting close you'll see that this is remember 80s the it starts beeping I'm at 72 77 there actually both at 80 and my torque wrench i know both of these things are correct so uh just to let you know that that's a trick that i've used because sometimes 